Hello there, this is Stormdog, and today I'd like to talk about Underwater. Not exactly a standout title, but a film that I really enjoyed. Sadly, it didn't get great reviews. The film grossed $41 million worldwide against a production budget of somewhere around 50 to 80 million. Notably, it was the final film released under the 20th Century Fox brand as the new owner, the Walt Disney Company, changed the company's name to 20th Century Studios just a week after its release. The film takes place on a drilling station near the Marinas Trench. Minutes into the film, disaster strikes with a small remnant of the crew stuck in a failing station that has already seen entire wings collapse. The small cast of characters attempt to make their way to functioning escape pods, fighting the failing station, the overwhelming pressure of the ocean depths, and eventually creatures right out of Cthulhu mythos, hinting that the company had summoned said dark forces and would do so again. I appreciate how long they keep from revealing the creatures and how slowly they build on it until the massive reveal. The film appropriately makes multiple nods to the classic movie Alien. I discovered this on further reading but could certainly feel it throughout the film and appreciate such. Critics detracted it for a derivative story, and it is to a point if comparing it to Alien. I can name few movies with said scenario, at least recently, and less with thrilling creature features. Critics called it boredom, but I found it to be a foreboding atmosphere that captivated me. The film has as its central character, Kristen Stewart. The cast of Twilight do seem to be putting it behind them, with Pattinson being the premier example. I did appreciate her in the Huntsman movie, Zathura, Catch That Kid in Panic Room, but have a hard time finding films I recall from her recent career. Hopefully she'll be able to find better roles in the future. Vincent Cassell plays the station captain and has been in many excellent films such as Brotherhood of the Wolf, which is a wonderful film. The title role in the Mezrin films, Ocean's 13, the title role in Renegade in some markets called Blueberry, and The Messenger, Joan of Arc. T.J. Miller has been in many major films such as Cloverfield, Deadpool 1 and 2, Ready Player 1, and has done voice work in many animated productions like Big Hero 6, How to Train Your Dragon, and assorted Ice Age entries. John Gallagher Jr. was in Peppermint, 10 Cloverfield Lane, Jonah Hex, and has done quite a bit of TV work. Jessa Hanwork did get to play Colleen Wing in Iron Fist, Luke Cage, and The Defenders, and every bit of those uh, Marvel, Netflix, Universe, whatever you want to call it, that they bring back, I thoroughly enjoy. While the film does have a good amount of CGI in it, they did much work to accomplish a lot with practical effects. The diving suits worn were around 140 pounds, and while some shots were done by dry for wet or adding in the water digitally, many scenes are also really done underwater with some amazing stunts actually done practically. Much of the set was first built in VR so they could reorganize and refine until building it for real. They used limited sets of the deep sea stations moving sections around to rebuild for the different sequences. It is not a flawless movie, but I have a sweet spot for well-done creature features. I went into the movie blind about the Cthulhu angle and was pleasantly surprised by how far they went with it, with small background details hinting at a grand plot by the corporation that built the station. I love the nods to Alien and would love if they took it in a more Aliens direction for a sequel. Sadly, the film did not recoup its losses, meaning a sequel is almost assured to never happen in this timeline. I slept on this movie way too long, having a copy lying about for quite some time. It was a great film to watch during Spooktober, or any time I'm in the mood for a modern claustrophobic creature feature. Until next time, this is Stormdog.